Hey guys, what's up? DJ's Aviation. Welcome to another video of mine. In today's video, as you can probably tell by the title, we're going to be talking about the newly announced A380 Plus and how it's improved from the first A380. Also, how I believe it will go down with Emirates and the other A380 operators that Airbus hope to gain orders from. So the A380 Plus is an upgraded Super Jumbo A380 with fuel-saving winglets as well as seating for an additional 80 passengers spread across business, premium economy and economy class. The 4.7 meter wingtip extension is designed to improve aerodynamics and reduce drag, together with other wing refinements, will boost fuel efficiency by as much as 4% Airbus claims. John Al, the Airbus COO customers, explains the A380 Plus is an efficient way to offer even better economics and improved operational performance at the same time. John adds, it is a new step for our iconic aircraft to best serve worldwide fast growing traffic and the evolving needs of the A380 customers. The A380 is well proven as the solution to increasing congestion at large airports and in offering a unique passenger preferred experience. The changes come as Airbus seeks to revive sales of its flagship aircraft, but falls well short of the so-called A380 NEO upgrade that leading customer Emirates has been demanding, but for which Airbus and engine maker Rolls-Royce said there is absolutely no business case for. Instead, the A380 Plus may still be enough to encourage the Dubai-based carrier to purchase about 20 Super Jumbos to add to more than 140. Some of the changes the A380 Plus has from its older, original A380 version include the removing of the Grand Staircase, relocating the forward stairs to replace the so-called Grand Staircase with a more efficient staircase, combining the entrance to the upper deck with the adjacent staircase to the lower deck crew rest makes room for up to 20 additional passengers in business, premium economy and economy. Removing the upper deck sidewall stowage bins, as all business travellers love these deep under window bins for stowing bags, shoes, PJs and the like, Airbus says the option to remove the sidewall stowages on the upper deck increases the wall to wall cabin width at foot rest height, which makes space for up to 10 more business class seats and beds when an angled herringbone arrangement is used. Adopting a 9 abreast premium economy cabin on the main deck is good for 11 more premium economy seats compared to in an 8 abreast layout. In uh, my eyes, I feel this aircraft will in fact sadly fail. Airbus may be able to secure a few orders from Emirates, however, it has become apparent that unless Airbus release another revolutionary aircraft, Emirates will go into the future with a predominantly Boeing fleet with the 777X orders and the 787-10 orders still to be delivered. Emirates have also made it apparent they are looking to already get rid of their older A380s, however they don't want them scrapped and would prefer another airline to take them so they have room for the newer A380+. Plus. And I'll add that's if they actually have some interest in the A380+. Plus. Some of the other reasons I believe the A380 Plus is likely to fail include the price tag and the fact it's a double-decker aircraft. Bigger planes are more expensive to fly, it's, simple. it's as simple as that. The A380 Plus may offer aerodynamic improvements to help out with some of the efficiency gap, but fundamentally, four engines are more expensive to operate and maintain than two. They may need to take a page from Boeing's book and realize that efficiency is where it's at in today's market. You just need to look at the ultra-efficient 777X that's coming online in the next few years and you'll see where the industry is headed. Of course, I'd absolutely love to see the A380 Plus succeed, as there is nothing better than having another quad jet dominate the skies for decades to come like the 747-400 did. However, sometimes you do need to really open your eyes and analyse the situation just from the side and not being biased as an aviation geek. The chief executive of Qatar Airways said he had no plans to buy any more A380s as well, and in 2016, Japan's All Nippon Airways bought three and Emirates bought two. But Air France cancelled two of their orders and Iran Air reversed course of an earlier commitment to buy 12. This further highlights how more and more airlines are simply opting for the single-decker aircraft like the 787s, A350s, a330 neos and 777 x's so that's going to conclude the information for today let me know in the comment section below if you think the a380 plus will be a success uh, what airlines do you think will order them do you believe emirates will go ahead and order 20 if they can replace their older a380s that uh, they are hoping to get rid of um, but anyway if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like thank you very much for all the support and watching another video of mine and i will see you guys in the next one peace